So the big trip coming up. We're going down to a property down the bottom of the Araluan Bends in a place right on the Dewa River. Bit of maintenance prior. We've got the caravan that's just come back from a three week trip on the beach, having crossed salt water twice. So the yearly inspection, we take the drums off, we'll get all the bearings out, we'll wash it all in the Penrite P26 brake and parts cleaner and assess these bearings. Now these bearings were fitted in January of 2020. So the decisions to be made now are, should we get a new kit to fit in? There is some wear marks on some of the rollers on the one side. One thing though, the linings look good, so we won't have to buy new shoes this time around. So you can see here that there is rust inside the drum. So we'll clean it all up and make our decision. We leave in three days, there's a lot to do. So a decision was made, and the decision was that we would get a new set of bearings. So a trip out to Kamek. What would happen without last minute, I ask? So what comes in the kit is you get your two bearings, your two racers, a seal and a cap. So it's called the Skin Pack Bearing Kit. So last time, three years ago, we changed the whole hub. But these are three years old. Now you're probably thinking, well, three years isn't that long. But you can see heat marks on it. There was grease still packed in there. But we've run a big tire. And those three years, they weren't just on the bitumen. So we do the off-road stuff with the salt water and water crossings where we take this van. So we've got a choice here of the two Penrite high temperature wheel bearing greases. Now I could use either. This one's good for marine, but this one's got the lithium in it. I'm gonna choose this one for this application. There's a bit of rust on that magnet, so we'll give that a good sandpaper there. And we'll also do that to the inside of the drum the contact point of that magnet. It seems to have been a rest point for the magnet. And it just so happens to be where the big rust is on the inside of the drum. So I reckon that that's where the caravan rested for the three weeks on the beach after the initial salt water crossing. To be honest, the first time I hooked up coming off the beach, I felt I was dragging for a few seconds. We've got to knock the old race out. So there's a small lip and the way I like to do it, a socket back to front. You probably can't see it so good like the front one, but the rear one has the same. It has a lip and it gets knocked back out. So there's the racers out. Good clean with one of those rags I was referring to. So that's ready now to knock the new racers in. Now why would I have put a grinder cut through the old racers? I'll show you why. So the reason being, we need to knock this new race in. So I've always used the old race and then I've knocked it back through from the back off that lip. But with that cut, to get that race back out is so much easier. I'll show you. So that race is home and look, but before I used to put a grinder cut through, that would be stuck in there as well, and I'd have to knock it back out from the bottom. So it's a tip I was given, and it's an awesome one. Now, the more rags you have at your disposal for this particular part of the job, the better. Now, we got four of these to do, so it does get messy. So what you want to be doing, you want to be feeding the grease in from the back, and then slowly seeing it come through the front roller. See it slowly coming through? That's how you pack a wheel bearing, work your way around. When you get the grease coming out like that, you know you're good. Like I said, four of these. Too big, too small. Tedious old job. But when you see the grease coming out the front roller there, you know you're in. I swear, when I was a kid, bearings came pre-packed. But don't you think the Penrite have adopted the bullet blue? Do you reckon that's bullet blue, little cage? No. Okay, so the back bearing's in. Now we need to put the dust seal in. So we sit it in place. Typically in a 4 this would also keep gear oil and water from mixing. But on the Jayco, it's purely to keep stuff out of going into the bearings, dust, water, etc. A nice layer of grease between the two racers in that cavity. Blush it off with the back of the race. 
good old carpenter's rule. All right, so the tricky part is keeping that magnet intact while you try and get the drum on. Now we're all good because these shoes aren't brand new and I've backed them right off. So it should be a line up and throw in quickly. Yes, we got it. So we'll quickly get the smaller bearing into its race. The retaining washer. And then the nut. Always use new split pins every time you come in here. For the price of them, you don't want them breaking and the nut coming loose. Oh, sounds smooth. All right, we've got to torque it up. Now I'll torque up the bearings with the spare wheel because a trip that's coming up like we're about to do, good to know that the spare wheel's actually inflated. So we don't have a 33 under here. This is the factory Jayco expander tire and wheel. We'll get two wheel nuts on it. Okay, then we're going to tighten up the retainer nut until there's no play. But we've got to suit the hole for the split pin. So this is the bit that freaks a lot of people out. It's showing you this. It's quite self-explanatory. So there's a hole here a split pin would go. Now there's no play. We back it off that 12 mil. Put the split pin in. We have play. We'll go back to the first one that we just fluked by chance. Now if I go to the next one, I can't get there. I cannot get there and that wheel is tight. So what that's telling me is I need to go back to the one that I can access. And that's the one that this caravan needs to be on. We go more and we're forcing it, so we're over tightening it. And you basically can feel that you can't do it. Now a way to check when you're driving your vans is when you stop for your brakes, just put your finger on the hub. If it's really, really hot, they're too tight. Now because we didn't change the hub, I don't think I'm gonna use the new cover. But we can't leave the drum looking like this. Let's see what epoxy enamel we've got in stock. We've got plenty of Duramax. I wanna put an epoxy enamel on it though. So here are my rust guard epoxy enamels. We've got blue, that's bullet truck blue. We've got red, white. We've got cottage green, that's from an old fence job. I never used that. We've got clear and we've got red again. I'm actually gonna use the cottage green. But once the wheel goes on, I think will be sweet. But first, the P26 parts cleaner, just to get all the grease off. We want the paint to stick. It's actually not that far off VB green. Anyway, it's paint we had in stock. Should be covered in mud in a few days time in any case. But this next trip, it's fresh water, not salt water. So we'll put the wheels on this in a couple of hours, once it's dry. 